Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told the point 0 0.50 lies on the curve y equals cosine of pi x. We're asked if q is the point x cosine pi x, use your calculator to find the slope of the secant line pq, correct to six decimal places for the following values of x. So if we have the point 0 0.50 0, and x cosine of pi x, the slope of the line between these two points is the change in y, which can be cosine of pi x minus zero over the change in x, which is x minus 0 0.5. And whatever this turns out to be is gonna be the slope of the line, which is a secant line to this curve between these two points. So I've calculated the points and their respective slopes here. And if you wanna just take a minute to pause, and go over the work. I'm not gonna do the calculations for all of them just because it's unnecessary. You can plug it into the calculator yourself or just take these values as they are. But in part B, we're asked using the results of part A, guess the value of the slope of the tangent line to the curve at this point, 0 0.50. And if we go back to the calculated points, we can see that we start out at negative two and then as we get closer to the um, actual point 0 0.5, right, as it goes from 0 to 0 0.4 to 0 0.49 to 0 0.499, get closer and closer to 0 0.5, the value of this gets closer and closer to negative 3.14, or pi. So we guess that the slope is negative pi. And using this slope, we're asked to find an equation of the tangent line to the curve at this point. So using our slope-intercept form and plugging in the slope that we just found, we can plug in our point, 0 equals negative pi times 0 0.5 plus b. Up here, 0 equals negative 0 0.5 pi is negative pi over 2 plus b. b is therefore equal to positive pi over 2. Now for the equation of this line is negative pi x plus pi over 2. That is based off of this slope, which is based off of this formula, which I calculated for all of those points. And so we're asked to graph the curve, two of the secant lines and the tangent line. And so I have done that here. You have to do the extra step of from these slopes, right? Plugging the slope into y equals mx plus b, plugging in whatever point you have, 0, 0 0.5 is gonna be the easiest for all of these, then finding the y-intercept and then plugging that back into its new equation, or you can just use point slope form, um, and which doesn't require any calculations, which is what I did. And we can see here, I have graphed this in Desmos. You can see our curve in red. We can see in green, we have the equation of the two tangent lines, which are furthest away. Um, you can see actually that a secant line, excuse me, will intersect a function at two points. So we have this point and this point, but we also have this point down here. And we can see that because the tangent line between these two points is the same as the tangent line between these two points, that they're actually the same line. And then every other secant line is gonna be basically on top of the uh, tangent line, which is in black. Right, you can probably barely even see the blue line that's basically right on top of it, and all of the other um, secant lines are gonna be right on top of it. Because if we look right here, our slopes are almost exactly the same for all of these values, so they're gonna be very, very similar um, and almost not recognizable on this graph.